Hello everybody, it's Dr. Novak again. Uh, once in a while I tune in the BRS TV. Always had that salt, salt water in me, uh, being ex-Navy man. But uh, this is something that I thought you should really watch. Don't expect too much from water changes. And I've written about this in my book. I've told people about this, that you basically have to depend on the equipment you are using are the bacteria that you are using and how you use it. This video, even though it pertains to uh, saltwater aquariums, okay, it still pertains to freshwater systems also because you have to remember that nitrosomatis has two strains of marine strains of Jenner strains in that bacteria. So there are five all together, but it has two marine strains. And Nitrosporea has three Jenner, all contain marine strains. So when they talk about a saltwater aquarium, just apply it to freshwater aquariums. And you'll realize that everything I have been trying to teach you and have been talking about is exactly what they're talking about. It's no different. The only difference is one has salt in it and one has fresh water in it. Saltwater hobbyists, I hate to say, seem to be a little more advanced in their knowledge because of videos brought out by BRS TV than what you see in freshwater systems. Yes, I understand BRS TV sells equipment, but they also give out some very good advice. And if you listen, and if you go to about uh, six minutes and 30 seconds into the video, okay, you'll fast forward to that point then start listening to what they're saying and you're going to realize it's basically what I've been saying about fresh water systems. The only difference is it's salt water. We do not carry the invertebrates like they carry, but as far as everything else is concerned, it applies, the same rules apply to fresh water systems. However, it seems like in fresh water systems, we look at nitrates as something that, even if they go up to 100 to 400 parts per million, uh, means nothing. We have discarded nitrates as something that means nothing. We shouldn't worry about it. Uh, our fish aren't showing signs of anything. Uh, we treat it so cavalier in the freshwater hobby, and it shouldn't be treated that way. And the misinformation that people give out that about plants are going to take care of nitrates and things like this, uh, that misinformation has been going around for years and years and years. And we realize, if you've been watching my channel, that bacteria can take care of everything like it's supposed to because I see a lot of aquariums that barely have any plants in it. And that is normal. People don't want to have a lot of plants. Like I, I explained to you before, people used to come up when I had my pond and they would see some water lilies on top of the filtration system, the anoxy filtration system, which had 21 BCB baskets in it. And they would say, oh, it's those plants. They're doing all the work. They're, they're helping these fish. And I would say, okay, come over here. And I'd move the plants away. And I say, you mean those four water lilies are cleaning this pond for those 17 koi? And of course, they would look at you like, well, there's no way that could happen. Of course, there's no way that could happen. So watch the video. I wanted to bring this up real quick. Watch the video, and you're going to see that it pertains to the same information I've been giving you about freshwater systems. Okay? So, 
thank you for watching. Until next time, uh, I'll come out with the lighting video and uh, hope you all have a good day. Today, in fact, uh, uh, it's my birthday, so um, it's a good day for me to be doing this short video for everybody. So I'm happy you watched. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. Because uh, right now, believe it or not, I'm helping a lot of people. And in fact, I'm on the phone with people. And I'm actually converting with people, helping them out. I'm, this is not just a YouTube channel that fluffs off my audience. I actually been talking to people on emails, been talking to people over the phone, been getting personal with people, helping them out. This is what this channel is about. It's a learning channel and a channel that I believe that helping people in this hobby is why we get such beautiful aquariums from other countries that uh, through good advice, and not bad advice and that's what we want success all of us want success I want success I want to see you be successful and that is my main goal so until next time happy fish keeping and thank you for watching